this is the brand new Royal Enfield Bullet 350. Now this bike is built on the same J platform as the Classic 350, the Meteor and the Hunter 350 as well. And let's take a look at what makes this different from the old Bullet and of course compared to the Classic as well. Now because it's built on the same platform as the Classic, the J series, it gets the same chassis as the Classic as well as the new swing arm as from the Classic as well. The old Bullet, the swing arm was tubular, this one is oval section which is a lot sturdier compared to the old Bullet swing arm. And even suspension, that's different. It's similar to the classic, but I think the tune might be a bit different. That's something we'll confirm once we get the bike for a proper road test in Pune. So this engine also is from the J platform, same as the classic. And even though its figures are identical to the classic as well. So it makes 20 and a half bit PS and about 28 Nm of torque. So that is same. Whether it's tuned a little bit differently, again, that we have to see once we get the bike for a road test. But on paper at least, it's the same. It also gets a 5-speed gearbox, again, the same as the classic. And even the gear ratios have been kept the same as the classic as well. And even the exhaust, well, that too is from the classic. So whether it gets the original bike's duk duk, well, let's check it out. So does it have the same duk duk as the original bullet? Let us know in the comments. Now the cockpit here, well, this is different from the old bullet. It's similar to the one on the classic. So you have a similar shaped speedometer, but of course the design is a bit different. And you also have a little digital inset here for your fuel gauge, your trip meter and your odometer. But of course here you have a slot, but no option for a tripper pod at all. And even the switch gear, you've got the same switch gear from the J platform, which looks nice, but it's a pain to use. Now because this bike is built on the J platform, same as the bullet, the design also looks quite similar. It's got the same kind of khopri and this cap like the bullet. And of course you have the tiger eye LEDs, the, not LEDs, the bulbs right here, the DRLs. And the main difference of course, I mean apart from the mudguard which is a bit different, is up here on the tank. This tank shape is slightly different and mainly you get these hand minute pinstripes on the fuel tank which are only available on the Bullet and not on the Classic. Then you also have these new logos for Enfield and for Bullet which are based on the old logos from Enfield's past and they look pretty sweet. As for the seat, the Classic has a split seat while the bullet has a typical single piece seat, so that's continued here. But the seat shape is slightly different. And of course, what makes the bullet different from the classic in the in a big way is this rear fender, which is more squared off compared to the rounder fender on the classic. Now hopping onto this new bullet feels quite similar to hopping onto the classic. The seat height is the same at 8 to 5 mm. So getting your feet down is very easy. And even the bike weighs about the same 195 odd kilos. But the difference you feel here is when you get your feet on the pegs. But the tank shape is a bit different, so your knees interface with the tank in a slightly different way. And compared to the old bullet, the handlebars have been raised. They are more like the classic now, which gives you a more upright stance, or as you call it, the dabang stance, where you can show off your muscles while riding. Well, I don't have any, so I can't, but you certainly can. Just like the old bullet, you have the option of getting this bullet with a front disc and rear drum and front disc and rear disc as well. But what's different for this new bullet is that now it comes with door channel ABS as an option when the older bike only offered single channel ABS. And this bike is also running on different tyres which are a lot wider and should be grippier as well. Now this new bullet 350 comes in three options and they are limited to the colours starting with the military black military uh, red which is priced at Rs 1.73 lakhs extra. The middle model which is the standard black and standard burgundy which looks very nice they price at Rs 1.97 lakh extra room and this top end one called the black gold is priced at Rs 2.15 lakh. So what do you think of this new bullet? Do you think it's worth buying over the classic or do you still prefer the classic? Let us know in the comments.